Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Spin. I know we've talked a lot about swings, technique. western, yes, technique, low to high. Form. Um, form. Stroke. Stroke, creating okay. the spin monster, which I've done with a racket. Mm -hmm. But how can we give you more spin with your string, perhaps a different tension, and a little bit more analysis. Stay tuned. All right, so Coach Rob, you, as I've always said, you have a continental grip. I you, have... You make it sound so... <laughs> Derogatory. <laughs> I mean, it's like, not that like, many people. Like me and the cavemen <laughs> exist together, just us as dinosaurs. No, no, no. It's not a bad thing. I it, know. It, it, and I can move my hand over if need be. It's, right. But when you're feeding, yeah. But that, it, it brings me to, um, that's the thing. Spin with a continental grip is literally low to high, right? You kind of have to c come up and then... And then literally drop it. Here you, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> make sure your palm goes, when you make your loop, make your palm go down. So then right. you come up with the front edge running up on the ball as you come around. Just like Fed. Just like Fed, except Fed's just semi-Western. Right. Right. Now, that is a little more difficult because your literally, your wrist is not loose, right? You're literally just, it's, it's a brush with with holding it cocked and bringing it up with the whole extremities i can't do it but so i'm i on the other hand i'm frying pan method like that where my wrist releases so it's easier for me to impart spin on it correct granted i hit it on time and in front of me um that's a different you're leaving, video you're leaving one key <laughs> ingredient yes look at the ball <laughs> look at the ball yes no matter what grip you use <laughs> i'm working on it i'm working on it um i've been better though i have to say i have to say i agree okay now but there are other key factors too that can help you and one of them is the tension now, I feel like we all know that, you know, it's the snap back that gives you spin. But in order to create snap back, we have to know what tension to string our racket at in order for it to move. Now, it's like what I was saying. If you're stringing your racket at 60 pounds with something, you know... And you're with a poly, yeah, with a poly or, or anything, you know, it, it's harder for these strings to move, therefore, harder to generate spin on the ball. So, tension is, I think, paramount. You know, that's why everybody's going looser because they want the snap, they want the more extreme movement on the strings. Um, and with the technology of today's strings, whether it be, I mean, a firm poly, a soft poly, or even like 18 a, gauge, like a head velocity right? or, or an 18 gauge, 17 we have. Yep. So the thinner stuff, 16, the L. easier to move. So we like that's why I've been loving my 20 gauge. Um, you for a couple hours, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. You have to also think about how long it may stay in there for. But if it gives you spin and it gives you enough life that you're satisfied with it, then definitely use it. But 18 gauge is fine if you don't break it fast. If you're one of those people who basically don't swing fast and you kind of have a continental or a semi west and you want it more spin, I feel like a thinner gauge at a looser tension at, at the... Uh, life the life of the string that you're satisfied with is probably the best combination now it doesn't have to be a poly like i keep telling you now velocity will do it like a firmer more solid type of a multi 
um, will probably do the trick too. Like a 17 gauge velocity will work. Granted, you don't break it too fast. 16 gauge velocity works great. Um, let's see any Wilsons that we can throw in there. NXT, NXT power. Yeah, like an NXT, those will break pretty fast too. Um, I think NXT control, you know, or a, or a Duramax, Duramax. yeah, will, will probably be a little bit better. I mean, sensation works good too. Hey, Harry, I got a match in the morning. I need this thing restrung ASAP. Can you help me out? Dude, it's seven o'clock at night. I, I know, Harry, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to sleep well without it. I, I, I got to have fresh strings for this match. Have you ever heard of a service called Direct Tennis? No. They can actually send out a stringer to your home. Wow, great. They can pick it up, string it, and bring it right back within an hour sometimes. Awesome. So it's directtennis.online. Cool. I'll check that out. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, check it out. Guys, directtennis.online. Check them out. Get your racket strung. I mean, you can do what I'm saying with, I mean, even a synthetic gut. Just find the right tension um, that you can make the, the string snap. You know, granted, you know, but look in inside yourself, though. If you don't have a fast swing, we want that looser. If you have a fast swing, then find the right tension for you. I feel like 40s isn't um, out of the question. I know the rackets say like 50 to 60, 50 to 58, um, 48 to 58. Um, I just strung a, a pros racket yesterday, um, Carol Zhao, and uh, she gave me her <clears throat> head speed with her head string. And guess what tension she asked for? 45. 41. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but... Yeah, 41 pounds. What does she want, though? She wants the feel. She wants to be able to snap the ball. She wants the depth of shot. Correct. Yeah. And she, she, I mean, we all kind of have to gauge our own strokes and the mm -hmm. type of shape we want, the, the action we want off the ball. And, I, and weather. Weather can be a factor, too. Totally. You're playing when it's colder. You're playing when it's hotter. Totally. Summer versus winter. Yeah. So I feel like it's time to, uh, you know, figure out the perfect tension for you and the perfect... Or, or the perfect range gauge, of tension. Yeah. Gauge of string, range. Like, so we have to do testing. If you know your string, find the perfect tension that you can keep the ball in play and get the right snap. But I feel like that will give you spin with what you got, all right? So Coach Rob, I think it's um, time to- uh, Protec. Sum it up. It is, yeah. it's that time okay. for Protec. All right, we would like to thank our official sponsor of Tennis Spin, official timekeeping piece of Tennis Spin, the Protec Watch. Coach Rob's got that handsome all blacked out one. I've got my favorite orange and black. Go Giants. Hopefully we win another World Series in my lifetime. 20% um, off for you. 25 years of constant illumination without assistance from the sun or light. Click on the link below. Get your ProTech on today. All right, Coach Rob, thank you for hanging out with me and going over, um, you know, using what you got, just determining the string type, maybe, if you're not sure. But if you already have one, figure out the right tension. And I, I know everybody out there wants to experiment. So if your arm hurts, do it with a multi, okay? Do it with a velocity. Um, do gut. it with a professional. Do it with a gut. Yeah, like gamma professional. Um, but yeah, gut gut would be great too. <laughs> gut would be probably the ultimate. Um, but 
I would say 20 gauge, 19 gauge, thinner gauge will automatically give you more spin. Granted, you get the right tension. All right. Coach Rob, appreciate you. Sure. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.